Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about comments in Python. This is going to be a pretty short tutorial. I just want to give you guys an overview of what comments are and how we can use them in our Python programs. So over here in my Python program, I just have this line here. It says print comments are fun. So if I run my program down here inside of the console, it's going to print out comments are fun, right? So any code that I put over here is going to get executed by Python. But there's actually a special line of code that we can write, and it's called a comment. And a comment is basically a line inside of our Python file that's just not going to get rendered by Python. So when Python sees it, it's just going to ignore it. It's not going to execute it. It's not going to print anything out. It's just going to kind of ignore it. And comments are basically just used for us humans. So a comment is used for like me or another developer to write a little comment, a little like plain text, you know, comment inside of a file. So in order to create a, a comment, I could use this hashtag symbol. So I can click hashtag and now I am writing a comment. So I can write whatever I wanted in here. I could say like this program is cool. And you'll notice when I run the program, that doesn't show up anywhere, right? It doesn't matter what I, I put after this hashtag. This is just like ignored by Python. It's just for me or another developer to come in here and use. So a lot of times if you want to write like a little note inside of your Python files, or maybe you can write yourself a little reminder, or if you want to write a line to like explain a line of code. So for example, I could write a comment that would explain this print statement. So I could say like this, prints out a string, right? Now anybody looking at my file would be able to read this and they'd be like, oh, that's what this does. Okay, cool. So comments are useful for leaving little comments in a Python file. Uh, if you wanna make comments on multiple lines, you can just create a new line and use another hashtag. And so then I could type out whatever my next comment was. Um, and generally, if you're gonna put comments on multiple lines, you wanna just use multiple hashtags. But there's actually another way that you can write out comments. So you can use a triple quotation mark. So I'm typing out the single quote and I'm typing it out three times. So you can see here, up here we have this three times, we have this three times. So in here I can you know, write any comment that I wanted. So I could put you know, as much text up here as I would want. And same thing, when I run this program, it's just not gonna get rendered. So this is another way to make multiple line comments, but the like official Python like style guides or whatever just recommends that if you're gonna put comments on multiple lines, you use these hashtags. So, you know, you can really do whatever you want, but if you wanna be like super Python official, then use these hashtags. Um, comments can also be useful for doing something called commenting out a line of code. A lot of times when you're writing a program, you might have a line of code in there that is maybe like potentially messing stuff up. And so what you can do is you can actually comment out that line of code. So I could put a comment in front of this line of code. And now when I run my program, the program is going to run, but it's not going to use this line. So sometimes if you're trying to see if like a line of code is causing you trouble, or if you want to see what your program would be like without a line of code or even like a block of code, you can just comment it out. And that way you're not actually deleting the code from your file. You're just commenting it out. So Python's going to ignore it. And those are really the two uses for comments is to write little notes, um, write little comments about different things or to comment out code. And as you go forward in Python, I'm sure you'll find uses for comments. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.